What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Mikey NYC, and we back with another reaction. Today we are watching the greatest sports moments of all time. I don't really know what to expect. You know, I expect to see Michael Jordan, Tom Brady. Uh, what else do I expect to see? Maybe some Babe Ruth. I don't even. This is not even Babe Ruth. I don't think. I don't really know. I don't know what to expect like that. You know what I'm saying? But without any further ado, let's get it popping. I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. You not telling me he's not dancing in that ring. Look how he's moving. You not telling me he's not dancing in that ring, bro. That's Babe Ruth, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Jackie getting loose. Hell no, Jackie getting way too loose. Bro, who who got the most stolen bases of all time? Because Jackie is getting low. Jackie is getting up out of there, bro. Jackie got places to go. All I know is Jackie was getting up out of there, man. I got to see that again. Jackie was gone. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Oh, wait. I forget the name. He stole the ball. He stole the ball. Terry Bradshaw. The immaculate reception. Play not over. Who was that? I don't know. That looked like um Roy Jones. I'm, I remember faces. Jackie. That's obviously Jackie. If you throw the pitch like this, I can't. I don't know if I can really jack you. I don't. I don't. I don't feel like you're in control. So I feel like that was that was meant to happen. You on the floor after throwing a pitch? I can't sincerely jack you. Marcus Allen. LT was nasty. LT underrated. LT don't get his props. I'm doing a video on LT. Because LT don't get his props, bruh. LT was one of the best running backs, bruh, of all time. You know what I'm saying? Especially for his time, LT was underrated. I just felt like he never really got the best of teams to put around him. But LT was a problem. And he don't get his credit like he should. LT different. Four at a time, maybe? I don't know. I wish that I can be like my... I wanna be, I wanna be like my guy. Cause I can be like my... Music is a little bit.
be like dancing. Look at the rhythm he's in. This gotta be like you on the dance floor. This gotta be like you on the dance floor. Look at the rhythm he's in. You gotta feel like you on your personal dance floor. That's the great thing about sports is sports. Like when you play sport, you really on your own personal dance floor, bruh. And you could paint that canvas in a way that nobody else has ever painted it. It doesn't matter what anybody else ever did. You could paint that canvas the way that you want to paint that canvas. You could maneuver on that dance floor in a way that no one has ever seen. Eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard, nor has it penetrated into the hearts. Nor has it penetrated into the hearts. That means you tailor made. That's what I, that, when I read that scripture, that's what I think of. You tailor made. Hey, he flicking at it. Wow. I gotta see that throw again. What yard line is that? The 30... The 37? So what is that, like a... A 60... 63 yard pass? Yeah. You really just gotta get it in the end zone at that point at the end of the game. That's iconic. That is an iconic stroke. That is everything you want in a in a game winning a game winning putt. You line it up, tap, anticipation, zoom in. Then you get the little Nike check. Then you get the look, just do it. That, that commercial made itself. That commercial made itself. That commercial made itself. That was a beautiful moment. Beautiful. What is he that what was he doing? Who stole that? Oh, this was yeah, this was iconic. This was iconic. That was crazy, man. The, that was one of the best Super Bowls ever, man. That was one of the best Super Bowls ever. Or no, in my since I've been alive, since I've been watching Super Bowls, that's one of the best Super Bowls ever. Cook at him. Who's that? Wayne Gretzky? Cook at him. Look at him. Look at him on a dance floor. Don't you want to dance with me? Uh, he hit him with the little in and out. Got him leaning. He's leaning. Got him leaning. Got him leaning. <laughs> nah, he's freestyling. Whoever that is is freestyling. Nah, he's wow. That's OD. I don't know nothing about hockey, but I know that I know a skilled I know a skilled player when I see one. I don't care what sport it is. I know a good player in any given sport when I see one. In and out, excuse me. Oh, that's not an in and out. That's like a what well, I just kind of like in and out, like a in and out. Kill Tim. Jerry Rice, you know Jerry ain't getting caught. Them uniforms is clean. Them, them 49ers. Oh my god, Bo Jackson then get loose. Oh, T Mac. You gotta show the whole sequence. I feel like the, the significance of the play doesn't mean anything without you showing the whole that game winner doesn't mean anything. You don't show the whole sequence. I feel like that's true with a lot of these clips though, because a lot of these clips, I don't know what they mean. I'm assuming they're like game winning plays or game altering situations or whatever the case is. That stuff you dream about. You can't you can't dream it up better than that. You can't dream it up. Catch a shoot for the win. You gotta hold the gooseneck for the I remember this. Or I, I remember this moment. Oh You gotta hold the gooseneck for the little kid that was shooting them in the front yard. You gotta hold the gooseneck for him. Because without him, that moment wouldn't be possible. You got to hold the gooseneck for him. For that little kid in you, you got to hold it for him. Great play. Randall Cunningham. Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. He was a little bit before Vic, right? He was like a Vic before Vic. But nobody was Vic, though. Like, they had similar play styles, but he wasn't no Vic. Vic, man, 
like Vic was dangerous with that rock. You couldn't like Vic was out of pot, out of control with that rock. <clears throat> Michael Vick is definitely like the Allen Iverson of football, no question. Michael Vick is definitely the Allen Iverson of football. Allen Iverson had a little bit better career though. But still, what what he meant to the game. All you need is one. Oh, he got both foot in. Why did you only play in the... Oh, that's to pass the record. Okay, got you. Mmm. That's tough. Oh, shit! Wait a minute. Why is that in the greatest hits moments? How is somebody fucking up in the greatest moments of all time? He shanked the hell out of that field goal, though. Good save. Spin. They was beating up on Patrick, man. They wasn't playing fair with Patrick. Who was? Oh, that's Clyde. Oh, these are iconic dunks for sure. That's an insane snag. Who is that? Walter Sweetness. Excuse me. Get him off you. That's the second stiff arm. Oh shit. Good throw. Way to get that shit off. Who is this? Wait, 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 wait. What? What is that? What moment is that? Phoenix versus the the Sonics. Who shot the ball? I can't see shit. I can't see shit. I'm assuming it's Jason Kidd. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Sweetness is moving different out here. Court shot, half field shot. Now the goalie got caught lacking. You can't get caught lacking like that as goalie. LeBron. I think this is when LeBron really started to get his respect. When he hit that shot against Orlando. That's the, to this day, that's one of the best game winners he got. I mean, he got a lot, especially in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? LeBron got a lot of game winners, regardless of what niggas want to say. Yeah, that's an, that's a that is a that was a great game. That was a great game. Oh yeah, soup. This is one of the most iconic games in history of basketball. Good save, boy. Laying it on the line. This is what I want to see defense. Get hands on ball. You got to have a knack for the ball. Oh my gosh, that looks crazy. Larry Bird. You know they had to have Larry Bird in there. Because what is the NBA without Larry Bird and Magic? Oh my gosh. Mmm, Ed Reed was a monster. Ed Reed. Oh, damn. Beep, bop, boop. Patrick Willis in his prime. He was a little Ray Lewis out there. We're going to keep it a stack. We're going to keep it 55 Street. And I'm going to keep it 55 Street. Ed Reed was so elite, though. As a as a Steelers fan, I don't want to really admit that he's better than Palomalu, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Palomalu, I don't know. I think Ed Reed was just way more gifted in the physical, but Palomalu mentally, I don't know if any safety had Palomalu beat men and in the spirit. Like, the way he played football in the spirit of football, I don't know. It's, it, it really depends. Usain, Derek Jeter, not celebrating. Did he be waxed y'all little shit? He celebrating while running? He waxed y'all shit. I ain't gonna lie, but he's one of the old time greats. You know what I'm saying? Who is that? I don't know who that is. If it's not Derek Jeter or A Rod, I don't know what Yankee it is. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Oh, with the bean. MJ. We ain't get enough MJ. Oh, huh. What are you doing? Mmm, kick it out. Who said who said MJ didn't pass at the end of games? Whoever said that was long. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just like there's nothing wrong with being a casual fan. That's just incorrect. Mmm, good defense. Ooh, good pass. 
pass, set him up perfectly for the right foot, put it right in his right foot pocket, set him up for a perfect goal. One, two, who is that, Sean Mendez or something like that? Mm, Randy Moss in his prime. You want to talk about receivers prime for prime? There's probably no receiver better than Randy Moss in the history of the league. We could talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We give Jerry Rice his props for having good longevity and championship rings and things of that nature. Eric Dickerson, another beast. I believe he retired early, if I'm not mistaken, but Randy Moss in his prime. I don't think there's a better receiver in the history of football. Nobody could even compete with this kid. Nobody could even compete with this kid. Vince Carter, probably the best. I don't know. I don't know if he's a better dunker than Jordan. I don't know. I think MJ looks better when he dunks the ball, but Vince Carter does it. He dunks more effortlessly. But MJ's effort just looks better. His, the way his style and his, his mannerisms and the way he just be walking in that air, I don't know. Something about it. Michael Jordan, I think, got more posters, so I'll give it to MJ. They ran a Statue of Liberty play in college. Don't tell me that word. That's what we used to call it when I played when I played football, Statue of Liberty. But they ran it differently. Like, Statue of Liberty is supposed to be here, and then they take it from here. Oh, they showing fights? Yes, sir. No blocking. We don't block in hockey? Headshots only. Headshots only. Straight to the mata. Straight to the mata. Beasley. If you blocking, you pussy. <gasps> oh, good block. If you blocking, you pussy. Lawrence Taylor, one of the greatest defensive players of all time, if not the greatest. Can't really name one better than Lawrence Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Randy, the fact that... The fact that they're trying to keep Terrell Owens out the Hall of Fame is, is dis it's disrespectful to the game. A football man. You can't name me you can't name me ten wide receivers all time better than Terrell Owens. You can't do it. You cannot do it. Terrell Owens was built like a machine. Speaking of built like a machine. Oh my gosh. This didn't even count. That's just high IQ right there. That is elite IQ. Mmm. That's yeah. That's one of the all-time best soccer highlights I've seen. Check him. Joe Green. Mmm. Westbrook. Who is that? Might be Sugar Ray. Way to lay it on the line. Michael Phelps. Yeah, Michael Phelps. Top one. Pacquiao. Kobe game winner. Michael Phelps. Steve Nash. Oh, the easy to Stoudemire. I wonder how he filtered out these moments. These are some good moments. Magic Johnson. I feel like we didn't see enough Magic Johnson. I feel like we didn't see enough. Ma we didn't even see no Tom Brady yet. We didn't even see no Tom Brady. We didn't see no Magic Johnson highlights. We didn't see no Deion Sanders highlights. We didn't. We saw. We saw some Lawrence Taylor. He did. He saw some LT. We didn't show, we didn't see no Hakeem Elijah one. I didn't see enough Kobe Bryant. Uh, you know, I feel like he missed some people. You know, but the, I'm just speaking about the sport of the sports that I know. If I'm being honest. Oh, he got wrestling in there too? I respect him throwing wrestling in there. That's actually valid. Just to throw the wrestling in there just so we know that it's in there. Yeah, that KG moment it was elite. I ain't gonna lie, anything that anything's possible. That shit was that shit was so well deserved and iconic, bro. You know, cause KG came into the league and he was on these a lot of bad teams, and you know, you know, doubt may start to creep in. Like, yo, maybe I just may be one of those dudes to never get one. A Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, and you know that wasn't the case. He got him a ring, and then as up, you know, as upset as I may possibly be. That it did come at Kobe's expense. You know, Kobe got... Kobe had five. Like, I, I'd... I'd rather... If I'm being... If I'm being completely honest... Would I rather have... Would I rather Kobe have six... With two three-peats the same as Jordan? 
or KG have zero, or Kobe have five and KG have one? Um, man, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather KG have one. I feel like the people people respect Kobe, regardless of whether or not he got that six one. People was gonna respect Kobe, but KG, I felt like he needed that to be able to talk that shit that he likes to talk. You know that with that shit talking, he be talking about LeBron and how we did this and we did that. You know what I mean? He had to get a ring to be able to speak in that manner. You know what I mean? Like when Isaiah Thomas be talking, like we did this and we did that, and you know what I'm saying? Like you could you could hold your head up high. Somebody talk to you. Let's talk. We let's have dialogue because I got the rings to back it up. You know what I'm saying? When they talk about what Charles Barkley did, it's kind of like you look at him sideways. Like we y'all didn't do nothing. Y'all ain't win no championship. You know what I mean? So I am glad that KG was able to get one. Um, I wish he could have got one and Kobe could have got six, you know, but who, whose ring do you take away? You know, whose ring would you have taken away? Cause you, you know, Dirk, Dirk earned that one. Dirk was busting up the lake or he bust up the Lakers. He bust up the Miami Heat. He bust up the Spurs. Dirk absolutely earned that one. That, that ring that Dirk got is damn near worth two. If we gonna keep it a stack, if any ring was ever worth two rings, it gotta be Dirk's ring, right? So Dirk, you know what I mean? Um, who else? The Spurs. I feel like we could take one of Tim Duncan's ring. You know, nobody would really. Nah, I'm just kidding, of course. But yeah, definitely a great video. I think I wish I would have seen a little bit more Tom Brady, just because Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. Un it like without without a hesitation or even a question or even a even a, a side look or, or second consideration. So I feel like we I feel like we should have been able to see some of his iconic moments. Um, that Julian Edelman catch that he they had against the Falcons, you could have took a lot from that. I feel like we I wish I would have saw a lot more Kobe, not a lot more, but at least some Kobe. Um, what else? I mean, I'm not going to complain. He did pretty much hit everything on the head because there's no way I can make a video like this because I don't know anything about any other sports other than basketball and football. You know, he had soccer. He had baseball. He had he had that one wrestling clip in. He had a lot of hockey. So, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. This seems like somebody who's well-versed in a lot of different sports. So, you know, it, regardless of a great video, I had a, I had a, a great time. You know what I'm saying? Watching this. I was super entertained. Hope you guys were too. Definitely like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like these type of videos. And I will see you when I see you. Peace.